two for force cook per map. So now we're going to add dot map equals example game front end followed by dot package equals my game interface. Now what this does is it tells it tells the engine that for that map we want to force this package into it. Now sometimes when you make a pack when you make a map with the menu, sometimes the interface doesn't appear, and this forces the engine to always look for that package and load it no matter what. So this corrects any issues regarding <coughs> um, the menu not loading. So finally, click save this and de delete your ut engine dot any. So open up the Unreal front end. Okay, you want to click make. So our engine.ini our UT engine.ini will be created. Browse to our UT example game front end and launch it. Now if all goes well, we should see a button. We should click it and it will open up our next level. So here's our button, as you can see, and let's click it. We clicked it, and there we go. But you see, there's one problem. You notice we don't have a third person camera, which we should. So let's find out what's wrong. So let's close out this. Now, the first step we want to do is show log. This will output the log file in a console. And to make it easier for us to see, let's start a game in 800 by 600. Now let's launch again. <coughs> Here's our log file. Okay. So here's our button. So let's click our button. Now, it seems our log isn't going to tell us what we need. Let's just make sure. Okay, so let's close out of this and open up our, our engine. Close out this. So first we want to check our example game level. Now let's run it. Alright, so there you see we have our third person camera. Now. So what's wrong? Well, let's check. So now we're going to open up example game front end. Okay, now we should see the same thing. So, let's view our Kismet. Okay, we have it opening the level, no problem. Okay, so it seems everything's alright in our Kismet. So now, we just work backwards. So, we're going to close our Unreal front end. Now, let's check our default game. So here, let's go to UDK, our UDK directory, UT game, and our config, default game .ini. Make sure it doesn't have, it has, all right. So now we see our error. So let's take off read only. It seems we never edited our default game. So there it is. So what we're gonna do is change this. My game dot, my game info. Then change the player control to my game dot my player control. 
Okay, now what we want to do is delete the utkm.ini and start up the front end again. Do a make to regenerate the ini files. And now let's launch with our example game front end again. Click the game, and there we go. Now we have our third person view by our script. Now, if you're wondering why I made the mistake, I wanted to show you a little bit of how to debug the game. I know I didn't do a very well job of it, but there's, I just wanted to show you a few places to check before you start, before the errors on are set on the forms. So that was one of the common mistakes on the forms. I just wanted to show you how to correct it. So after we close this, let's close it. Finally, now we just cook the game. Now if you remember, all we do is we cook the map. So let's browse MG example game level dot level. Now remember, we already, since we already have the example game front end set to always cook, we do not have to add it. So let's put maps to play. And right here, I'm gonna go egg and G example game level and click cook so now it's going to cook our level <coughs> now that it's done um, cooking the map now we just package the name so click package game Let's give it a name. Let's name it Forensis Tutorial. I hope I spelled his name right. Apologies if I didn't. And let's just name Tutorial. Press package game. Now let's start packaging the final game. So it'll pop up just like you remember. The, it'll start compressing our files into a, a setup. And that's it. I hope this tutorial wasn't too confusing. Again, shout out to Herensis for making this tutorial. And I hope my little debugging session didn't confuse anybody. If it did, feel free to ask me on the forums. I'll explain exactly um, what I did to cause the error. But a recap is all I forgot to do was make it the default game, which is one of the most common problems on the forums, as you still as you saw. So if you have any other further questions, you can contact me on the forums or Herensis since he's the original maker of them. And I hope this helped out everybody. So that's it. I'm Wild SV and I'm out.